Hey guys, it's Kim here. Welcome back to my vlog channel. So today is going to be a very busy day. I've got a lot of events going on. First off, I have the Innisfree event. It's to celebrate their new cherry blossom line being launched in Australia. I'm here with my friend Nat. Where is she? There she is. <laughs> Struggling to put my <laughs> shoes on. Um, yeah, so we're going to go to the rocks together for the event. And then, yeah, it's uh, going to be a full on day. So I'm going to take you guys with us. Oh yeah, and I got this headband a couple of days ago uh, from La Visa. It's like an affordable uh, jewelry store in Australia. Your ATM? Okay. Sure. Oh. Your station. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I hope you guys love it. I, yes. I love your job too. Thank I know you. another umbrella. Oh, thank, thank you. you. In a free umbrella. Fun. Thank you. <laughs> list of stores they have. It opened in Melbourne yeah. at first, yeah. yeah. We're just hanging out at the event. Um, it's open to the public, I think, soon. It's just people lining up. So yeah, for now, I'm just going to chill around in this beautiful space. It's so cool, guys. I've got like different stations. The ATM, guys, like seriously, everyone was waiting, just waiting for me to use the ATM because like as soon as I screamed, like, everyone was like, you know, had their cameras on me. I was like, you guys, cheeky. the Innisfree event and now we are at Circular Key. I am going to be taking the ferry down to Manly. Never been to Manly before but I'm going there for another event. There's a restaurant there called Daniel Sun and they invited me to go to... Whoa that's trippy. I know I can't I just looked at that. that that's really trippy. I feel like I get a little bit seasick like I don't throw up I just get headaches. Like I was saying um, I'm going to a restaurant called Daniel Sun and it's for an event. They have a special cherry blossom menu so we're gonna go and enjoy that. I feel very tripped out. We are taking an express and it costs $9.70 one way. Um, if you take the normal one it's like 40 minutes it's a bit cheap but I don't really like boats very much so I wanted to take the quicker one Nat the tour guide yeah what's the first stop food no nah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this is see, like, the beach. hey look there's a Coles <gasps> there's a Coles oh, guys Coles. Yeah. Yeah. I feel right at home <laughs> Oh, the price line, oh. a nab. Jeez. Let's go to nab and open up an account.
I'm back home now and I've got a few PR packages to open. My friends are fighting over my Snorlax. <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> I got a package from BT Cosmetics. I bought some stuff from them. Ooh, ooh, it's a lot of stuff. Super tempting face fixer. Oh, it's oh. the BT BTS one? No, it's. Oh my god, you got the BTS one? Yeah, it's the BTS one. Oh, they send you everything. Oh, look. <gasps> Okay, I need to calm, calm down. <laughs> She's just like going nuts. Awesome. Let me pick my favorite guy. Let yeah. Me Perhaps this guy. RM. Oh, that's a lot. Of, a lot of people say him. This he's guy? the guy. He's the guy that's yeah. the English English speaking guy. Oh, okay. Well, that's yeah. easy. We can. That's easy. Music. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's pretty. Wow. Look at that. Look at the video. Oh, look at. I love the packaging. Actually, it's so sleek. You like J Ho? Oh. Thank you. I like these ones. They're the three oldest. <laughs> oh, they're the three oldest guys. Then I got another package from Daniel Wellington. So I got the new watch. This is the new icon. So I'm gonna be shooting that soon. I got a package from GHD the other day. The GHD Platinum Plus Professional Styler. GHD Final Fix Hairspray. Oval Dressing Brush. I've been using this, it's really good. Heat Protect Spray. Um, GHD Curl Hold Spray. GHD Straight and Tame Cream. And the GHD Final Shine Spray. So a lot of goodies from GHD, thank you so much. I'm gonna rest at home first. Um, and then I have another event later tonight. So I'll see you guys after. Now at the Soph Hotel, and I'm here for a Gifu event with Japan Tourism. We got some goodies to take home. I'm gonna attach oh, this on, onto my bag. So cute, right? We got this really? doll that's really? uh, famous in the Gifu prefecture. We got a nail clipper and this thing where you can drink sake from. All right, guys, I finished the Gifu event and now I'm walking to go to a cafe to meet up with Eric, Nat, and a few of my other friends. So yeah, that was a really good event. Got some goodies out of it and met some really cool people. Um, yeah, it's just really nice to connect with lots of different people in Sydney. And I think with this event especially, it was really good because I was able to connect with people from Japan. Everyone else is having dinner, but I'm really full from the Hida beef. But I'm gonna go chill with them anyway and we might go out for drinks after because it's a Friday night. Yes. The that's a lot of life. That's a lot. Yeah. 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 It is a few days later and I'm currently at Benefit to get a brow touch up. It's been about a couple of weeks so yeah, just going to get a uh, tint and a wax like usual. Hey guys, 
I am back home from my benefits brow appointment. So I go every month to get my brows tweezed, waxed and tinted with benefit because I suck at doing my brows so I just leave it up to them now. So I get mine done every single month with Andrew so I'll link him down below. He's amazing. I love it. I got back home, did my hair and makeup as you guys can see because I'm going to an event later today. It's in Paddington so I'm going to Uber it down in about 20 minutes. So the event is with So Fragrances and according to the invite it kind of looks like it's a spring in Paris theme so that's why I put on this beret I got from Yesta for like two dollars and then I got this dress that I got in Korea I want to talk to you guys real talk here um, as soon as I got back from Sydney as soon as I got back from Japan last week I was overloaded with work like all the clients wanted um, their Instagram photos stories and videos due at the same time I was super stressed out because well Shooting Instagram photos alone is quite hard. Usually I need someone to help me. So luckily my friend was staying over for like five days. So I got him to help me shoot. When I moved to Sydney, I moved because I knew that there was going to be a lot more work and more opportunities. It has been amazing, but it's very hard doing everything alone, especially with my crazy travel schedules. So I was in Japan last week and I have to go back again next week. Of course, that's not the ideal situation, but because the clients need me in Japan at different times it can't be helped so I was thinking about this recently it's in the very early stages but I want to let you guys know first because you guys are my viewers I'm thinking about hiring an assistant in Sydney so ideally someone that can help me out maybe two to three times a week um, work can involve shooting photos videos and also involve editing uh, photos if you guys have experience in editing videos that's the main one then yeah please let me know um, I'll leave my email down below so email me at kimdow90 at gmail.com if you don't know how to shoot photos and film that's totally fine you don't need experience in that I can teach you um, I just really 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 need someone to help me edit I think like um, I just can't do it alone so my main channel I haven't been uploading that much this year because I just don't have the time anymore so if you live in Sydney and if you have like two to three days a week to spare then uh, please let me know um, by emailing me of course it's going to be paid I'm not going to make you guys work for free that's what I'll let you guys know in the vlog first because I mean obviously if I want someone to work with me I want someone that knows me knows my style so it would be a lot easier that way it's just in the very early stages right now like I haven't advertised this anywhere else yet I am kind of just squeezing it into this vlog because I really want someone that watches my videos um, but anyway so if you guys are interested and live in Sydney let me know um, email is down below but besides all of that everything um, in my personal life has been great Eric and I are thinking about going back to Perth in October or November for a week to sort out our wedding plans so we've got most of the wedding booked we just have to do some finer details especially with the decorating so we were thinking about flying back um, working from home to just sort out the wedding stuff um, I think I have to head off to my event now I've been looking outside the window hoping that the rain would maybe calm down a little bit but it doesn't look like it will so yeah I'm just gonna head down to the event now and stay for a little bit and then go back home to finish more work yay <laughs> From the so fragrance event so I got a goodie bag let me show you guys what I got oh that got really dark it's so depressing outside guys like I was going to take public transport to the event just to save some money because I've been taking so many ubers lately it's terrible but as soon as I got out it's just like pouring down so hard that I was like ah, uber I feel like in Australia even if it's pouring down with rain I just don't want to carry around an umbrella and I feel like a lot of other Australians feel the same way like in Japan everyone carries an umbrella in Australia I feel like people just suck it up and I'm one of those people I'm just like oh, I mean I could carry an umbrella but I could just also suck it up and run so anyway um, let me show you guys what I got at the event so sweet of them it smells so good too <gasps> it's a cookie the miss so daydream perfume mist 
white chocolate and pomegranate. I'm going to edit some videos for my vlog channel because I'm so behind and I'm also going to finish off a main channel video for a client. I also have to research for a video for another client which I I'm going to try to film on Thursday. Hey guys, it is a few days later and I just did my hair and makeup. I'm gonna go out to an event now and my friend Wendy is here. We're gonna go to the event together. Um, it's the Shopo, just like a Shopo event, right? Uh, yeah, it's like a gifting suite. Gift, yeah, so we're gonna go and hopefully get some new clothes. Here we are, wow. So we just got back from Shopo and they literally just let us pick whatever we want on the racks. That is so nice of them. So I picked up a couple of outfits so I'm going to try them on and then um, show you guys what they look like. This is the first dress. I really like it. It's cute. It's perfect for summer. This is the next one and this is perfect for the beach. I love it. This is the next dress and I just put on a black bralette inside but I feel like, I don't know, like maybe if... I had nothing inside it would look a bit better but the problem is like this is very loose if I had nothing inside like poof things are going to be exposed. This is a final outfit. There are two pieces of top and the skirt and I think I will bring this to Japan actually because if it happens to be really hot over there then I can wear this and not feel uncomfortable throughout the day. Hey guys so Wendy just left. We spent the whole time trying on clothes that we got at Shopo and then spent like the last couple of hours catching up with each other so that was really nice but now it's back to business so I have to do some revision edits for a client. I sent off a video that will go live on my main channel on Sunday and they sent back some things they want me to change so I'm going to get that done for them. Then I'm going to research for my Innisfree video because I want to shoot that tonight and tomorrow. Unfortunately, because I'm going to Japan on Tuesday, I have a tight schedule because on the weekend, it's going to be super busy. On Saturday, I have to shoot some photos for a client. Then on Sunday, I have to go to a beauty event for another client and Monday packing so oh, there's just so much going on but it's good at times like this I really feel like I need an assistant <laughs> only been editing my vlogs from last month so all my vlogs are like one month behind which is terrible um, but yeah I'm going to try and work really hard when I go to Japan to edit all those vlogs usually I would fly from Sydney straight to Tokyo direct but because of the Rugby World Cup all of those flights are booked out so I have to go from Sydney to Singapore Singapore to Tokyo which takes double the amount of time it usually takes for me to get to Japan but I mean it can't be helped so I guess during those transfers I'm gonna use that time to edit and get work done. I'm only in Japan for I think four or five days so it's not a long trip at all. Um, usually when I go to Japan on these business trips they ask if I want to stay a bit longer to explore Japan for a bit but this time I was like no I'm literally only gonna go for the project and then go straight home because I just don't have time like I have so much to do in Sydney I really want to do vlogmas because I've been doing vlogmas since 2015 that's 2015 16 17 18 for four years I've been doing vlogmas so it would be nice for the fifth year of vlogmas to you know vlog the wedding planning and stuff but I just feel like if I'm stressed out, I wouldn't want to vlog. I'm just worried that when I'm stressed out, the vlogs are just going to be literally me complaining. And I don't really want that. So I don't know. I'm still deciding on whether or not to do Vlogmas. I'm still leaning towards yes because this will be my first time doing Vlogmas in Australia. So that might be interesting to you guys. If I do vlog the wedding planning, maybe after the wedding, it's like something that I can look back onto. Because sometimes, you know, when I'm really bored and I feel a bit nostalgic, I'll go through my really old vlogs and, you know, just watch and be like, oh yeah, I remember that day and stuff like that. I don't know. We'll see. So let me know what you guys think down in comments below. And also guys, if you have any advice on how to deal with stress, please let me know down below because I've been so stressed out recently. I don't know what to do with myself sometimes. So it would be very nice if I had, you know, a new way to deal with stress. Um, but anyway, guys, I am going to go off to um, do my research and edit that video now. So I will see you guys probably 
tomorrow no i will vlog on the weekend because i am going to go out to shoot some content but i'm also catching up with a lot of people as well so i will see you guys on the weekend